the amount of x um, here is zero uh, whenever the um, uh, the reference group is male and because male is zero if you recall male has been represented by zero in our data it's nominal but has been represented by zero and uh, when the stream is at its lowest level in this case if you recall it's actually normal technical which is at, at this level so uh, the intercept represents the mean of males in the uh, in the normal technical stream I reiterate that the intercept here represents the mean of the male test takers in the uh, normal technical group which is let's say around here and so this will be our intercept which is equal to 1.883 actually triple eight three and that's the intercept of uh, this regression model with two independent variables which are categorical now the other thing is once we set the intercept or the uh, in other words the reference group or if you like the uh, base category it goes by different names um, n now we take this out of the analysis uh, the rest of the analysis and we focus on the rest of the categories as I explained in previous videos and compare them with each other now uh, this comparison is a bit uh, um, in a sense uh, tricky and there are some uh, nuances that we have to go through the first thing is uh, when you're comparing normal academic and normal technical if you look at their mean scores from my previous videos you'll find out that uh, if you take away or if subtract the mean the mean scores of these two levels this one and this one you won't get 1.2946 uh, you get another index of course it's close but it's not exactly the same as this one so how do we get this estimate and where does it come from technically uh, in this cat in in this analysis we're doing this subtraction by uh, keeping the effect of gender or the gender effect effect constant or you can put it in different ways you can also say by controlling for or controlling for uh, the effect of gender how do you control for the effect of gender uh, basically it's uh, it's in this uh, it's done in this way first of all we want to um, look at the differences between the mean of normal academic and normal technical only and only for males and then in a, in a separate analysis we do the same thing for only and only for females so we'll get two scores in fact two estimates now what do we do with this those two estimates for for males if you calculate it uh, uh, let me let me just tell you first what these two statistics will be then I'll tell you what we will do with this with those two estimates if you calculate the differences between uh, normal academic and normal technical for males you will get this first of all um, for normal academic the mean is 319 uh, you can watch my previous videos uh, you'll see where this this is coming from and uh, and for the normal technical the mean score is 1.85 uh, and actually um, luckily I also have descriptive statistics here I can show you where these are coming from I totally forgot about this uh, so uh, the the mean score for males uh, for uh, normal technical as you can see is one point 85 this is exactly what I did on the left hand side right and this one the, the second one now uh, the mean score for males in the normal academic group is 3119 which is uh, right here so I subtract these two from each other as you can see from this the formula right here and the result will will be one point 34 
So this estimate is not really 1.34. That's very obvious. Now the second step will be to get the same uh, uh, analysis to do the same analysis, but this time around only on females. So let's do that. Uh, uh, I right, quickly uh, put this down. Uh, the mean score for normal academic female is 3.20. Five, and the mean score for um, normal technical uh, females is, is 2.01, 2.01, um, and if you subtract this from the other one, you will get 1.24, okay? So far, we have gotten two statistics, 1.34 and 1.24. Now, how do we arrive at this number, 1.2946, roughly? Uh, also notice that we have got four decimals here, and unfortunately, we only get two decimals here. So there will be a little bit of discrepancy between what I'm going to present and get and this estimate here, but that, that discrepancy is simply because of uh, the number of decimals that we have. Uh, all right, so we're going to get the average of these two av uh, these two. Um, statistics. So it's going to be 1.34 plus 1.24 then divided this is plus uh, divided by 2 which gives us roughly 1.29. Alright so 1.29 is right here 1.2946. It has two additional decimal values there uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, because of the fact that the two analyses in Jamovi are using uh, uh, different decimal values. Okay, so and let me just draw this once again. That's how this one is calculated. For express and normal technical, uh, you can go through the same process. Um, I can quickly take you through it uh, for express. Uh, for females, as you can see, it's 4.19. Then for the other group is th this one here. And for the other group, uh, for females of normal technical, um, females of normal technical uh, right here, it's uh, 2.01. I hope I have not made mistakes as, as I was doing this analysis. But you can actually... Uh, you know, do that uh, on your own as well. And if uh, if I made any mistakes, please write them down in, in the comments section. I'll be happy to uh, listen to your uh, advice. All right, so this is one part of it which, uh, re um, uh, which returns uh, 2.01, um, 2 point, uh, excuse me, 2.18, and for males, this is females, for males we have 4.12 um, minus 1.85. This is the first stats there. And it, it makes 2.27. So now you add these up just like what I did previously. You add them up and then divide them by 2 and the result will be 2.225 okay 2.225 feel free to to do these analysis uh, in your free time so 2.225 2.225 of course there's a 9 there which means that it has got four decimal values and in the same way you can calculate the differences between males and females and this time around you have to run three calculations males minus female females in for normal technical group males minus uh, female male uh, sorry female minus male for the normal academic and female minus male for the express add them up and divide them by 3 you should get something close to or exactly the same as this estimate right this is how these estimates are arrived at and and from the uh, previous videos of, of regression analysis, you would know that these are basically the slope, the slopes of these groups. 
the, the differences between them, and technically you can refer to them as the slopes. Now, are these uh, estimates or slopes significantly different or not? Well, yes, uh, quite a few of them are significantly different. The intercept is significantly different. We're comparing the intercept, let's, let me go back to this graph here, with zero here. And we're asking whether this intercept, which is 1.8883, is significantly different from zero. And in this case, the answer is yes, it's significantly different from zero because of the p-value as you see here. The second uh, p-value represents the statistical significance associated with this analysis, this uh, uh, which uh, which is represented by normal academic versus normal technical. This one is also statistically significant. So the first one is, the second one is. And the third one is also statistically significant, but gender doesn't have any impact on uh, the variance in uh, the comprehension or the compre, which is your dependent variable. And that's really all about this analysis. In uh, the following videos, I will incorporate additional variables, uh, definitely uh, one or two uh, continuous variables, and I will also um, also um, present uh, a regression analysis including uh, interaction effects between uh, gender and stream. So this brings me to the end of this video. Thank you very much for staying with me. Um, stay tuned and I will um, soon come back with another video. Have a great day. Goodbye. Shh. <laughs>